Now this again is one of the important cars here at the Tata stall. Now it looks like a regular Harrier and from the front that's what it is. But if you go to the sides, uh, you will see that this car is longer. It's actually 62 millimeters longer and that's the extension at the rear. Though it's been pretty well integrated, uh, yes, a bit more overhang. And uh, this section over here has also been lengthened a fair bit. What the buzzer also gets is rear disc brakes. Now the Harrier, that came with drum at the rear. And uh, for that weight, it was a bit questionable, though performance was good. But here we've got discs and that I'm sure is a welcome addition. But it's all too package in a third row of seats so this is the buzzard this is the seven seat version of the harrier and let's just jump to what's different in it which is the third row let's have a quick look okay so getting in and out not so easy don't forget the wheelbase hasn't been stretched so that does kind of make the entry a little restricted. Uh, getting in not too bad, the seat did tumble forward quite easily. Uh, space over here, again, uh, it's not the most lavish as far as seven seats go. But for average size adults, it's, it's pretty good. And for short distances or even, uh, you know, for let's say an hour or two, it's fairly comfortable in here. Uh, headroom is pretty okay though you've got this runner over here which might be a problem for uh, tall people and uh, you've got uh, uh, rear air convents you've got an iPod socket uh, you've got individual blower controls over here little pockets so they've uh, made this area fairly livable and uh, yeah it's added to the practicality of the Harrier and uh, as a seven seat option it's pretty good. So from the driver's seat, really not much difference between the 87X and the Harrier or, or the Buzzard as this is known. Uh, it's really no different. Uh, same carryover bits. Uh, you've got again this free floating screen, infotainment screen, nicely textured wood panel over here, which you liked earlier. Uh, instrumentation again, part analog, part digital. But I think the big change is going to be the powertrain because the 170 horsepower or the more powerful version of the Fiat diesel will debut in this car sometime in uh, before April 1, 2020. That's going to be a BS6 compliant engine. And you will also get the option of a six-speed Hyundai or Hyundai sourced uh, automatic, which is a torque converter. So the extra power, the extra convenience and the extra row of seats will make the buzzard a far more compelling package than the current Harrier, especially for families looking at practicality, comfort and convenience.